Hey everybody, welcome back to Tipped Out. Neon here. Just a quick quick side note, I'm using bad headphones. I'm um, not on my main computer right now, so the audio might be a little worse. Hopefully the video quality is just as good. Today we're going to be looking at Kalasha, the Dark Undyne. She's new Hall of Heroes for February. Uh, people were contemplating what it was going to be. I never thought it would be the Undyne, but here she is. Um, let's take a quick look at her. She's got Dark Drop, attacks with a small lump of darkness and increases the chance of the enemy missing for two turns if you get a critical hit. Okay. Attacks all enemies, sorry, Dark Frenzy, attacks all enemies with a Dark Pillar and decreases attack bar by 30% 30, 30 with a 50% chance. Additionally, this attack will heal an ally with the lowest HP by 25. Okay, so similar to the other Undyne's. Dark Return, revives a dead ally to return with low HP but a full attack bar. Hmm, okay, so that could be good if you have a healer ready to go. If she's always on Violent, she could use that and then use her Dark Frenzy and then heal him. So I would say a Violent build is pretty good here, like a Speed, HP, HP, Violent build. Get some crit rate substats too, just so that this gets more utility, this first skill. Uh, but you could probably go defense too, like speed, HP, defense. Get her to go fast, get her to go often, get her survivable. Uh, I think TOA might be good too, if you run, run, want to run her on despair. If you don't have a healer like I don't have a... If you don't have a reviver like Brienne that can actually revive... Like I have Conrad, but he can't revive. Like it has to be situational. She can revive whenever she, that skill is available. So I might run her with a despair and bring her for TOA. Uh, or violent too, so she can do that the heal right afterwards. Uh, yeah, so let, let me know. Let me <coughs> wow, <laughs> let me know, guys, what you think. Uh, what you think kind of build you want to do on her? If you think she's actually useful, if she think that you're not going to use her, I always say with Hollow Heroes, keep it. Uh, it's a dark monster, you never know when you're going to get her again. If she gets buffed, if all of a sudden there's something that comes out that she was really useful for, someone finds a perfect build for her, and you're like, oh my goodness, she's actually really good. So never waste. Always keep one. It's that's my thing. You got to keep one because you'll regret it. I hear so many people that regret it. Uh, yeah. So there you go. She got a leader skill of the defense of dark monsters. That's nice. Could be really good in raids actually with that if you're using like a DS. Most people use DS and most people like to have the universal defense, but sometimes that'll stack on top of universal defense like that a monkey king has or whatnot. I don't think monkey kings have defense. Uh, but yeah. So just comment comment down below. What do you think she should be built at? If you have one and you like her, let us know. If you don't like her, let us know. It helps. Uh, and as always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you didn't and you didn't agree with what I said, then you can dislike it if you like too. As always, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.